Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video, I'm going to be trying out some Makeup A Murder products. If you have not seen my previous video of me trying out all of Makeup A Murder neon pigments, go check that out. I will leave a link right up here for you guys. You can go click on that and then come back here and watch this. So today I'm not gonna be using the neon pigments because I've already used these before. Also, I had poison ivy on my eyelid, so I have a spot on my eyelid that's like super dry. So if I were to put pigments on them, it would be like really patchy and uneven. So I'm not gonna use those today. I'm just going to be doing regular eyeshadow from one of my other palettes. All of their packaging is crime scene. If you guys have not seen that previous video, their like theme is crime scene investigator and stuff like that. So like these are eyelashes that I got. It just comes in a package like this, it's so cute. Cute. It's like a crime scene marker and then you just open them up and here are the eyelashes They're so pretty. The packaging is so cute on the back. It just says makeup a murder Here is the bloody blender sponge. This is a cosmetic sponge. It's very similar to the beauty blender But it's called a bloody blender like packaging is so cute and there's like blood splatter on this and this is their logo the next thing I got is the fingerprint translucent powder. So I ran out of my translucent powder that I normally use, so I was in desperate need, so I was so thankful that they sent this to me. And inside of the translucent powder, it comes with one of these little fluffs, which I actually have been using. I feel like a lot of people don't use them, but I have actually been using mine to press all over my face and just set my foundation. That translucent powder also came with a brush, which I also use. It's just a like fluffy kabuki brush is what I would call it. The last item I got is their eyeliner. This is called Forensic Eyeliner Pen. And I was so excited when I saw this because the tip on this is so small and pointed. It's so much easier to do my eyeliner with this. This is one of the products that I have been using. If you guys can see the point on this is so small and detailed. So I've been absolutely loving this. And once I run out of the Makeup A Murder um, eyeliner, I'm going to repurchase it because I like it that much. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I just did my eyebrows off camera real quick. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. I'm just doing like a very soft look today. I don't wanna put a lot of pigment on my eye because I did have that poison ivy um, and my skin is still irritated. So when I've been wearing makeup lately, I've had to do like super, super soft to light makeup. So that way I don't irritate it. Like normally I'll do a little bit darker on the outer and then on where my poison ivy is right here, um, I just do like a nude or like a very light color. Also look how tan I am guys. I've been going to the pool like every day. I am going to do a house tour very soon. Probably within the next week, I'll be doing a house tour. If you guys did not know, my husband and I just recently purchased our first home together. So I definitely want to show you guys. So I just do something like very light like this and then I take like a lighter color and I just put it on the inside. Try not to irritate that skin any more than it already is. My husband got poison ivy really bad. Yeah, I'm guessing you guys are wondering like how I got poison ivy on my eyelid. And honestly, I have no idea because I did not get it anywhere else on my body, just on my eyelid. So I don't know what that's about. Okay, so that is all I'm going to be doing for eyeshadow. And I actually wound up using Bling Boss and Dark Magic. Those are the two palettes that I used that whole time. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner and I'm going to use the first product, which is the Forensic Eyeliner Pen. I know you're not supposed to tug on your eye, this is just how I've always done it. See how small? You can make like the smallest line you want or you can build it up. That's what I love about this. I've never experienced any dryness or tugging on the eyelid with this either, which is amazing. As you can see, it is very wet and shiny, but it dries down to like a perfect matte. So that is the eyeliner. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my foundation. For primer, I'm just going to be using the NYX Studio HD Primer. I actually hate this primer. I'm trying to get rid of it. It's not good, it smells weird. It doesn't perform very well. I'm just trying to get rid of it. I'm gonna go ahead and dampen my Bloody Blender and I will be right back. I'm gonna show you what it looks like before. I'm gonna show you my Morphe Beauty Sponge, which is absolutely disgusting and dirty, but I just want you guys to see a comparison of how they're different because at first you might think they look very similar, but they are actually very, very different. Here is the Bloody Blender. 
Here is my dirty Morphe sponge. As you can see, the Morphe sponge is a lot thicker and shorter and fatter, whereas this one is a lot more long and narrow. This sponge would be great to get like right underneath your eye or to get into small areas that you need to be a little bit more precise with. So I'm gonna go wet this and then I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is wet. As you can see, it grows a lot. This one, texture wise, is actually a lot better than the Morphe one. It's a lot softer. I would say it's definitely more like a beauty blender versus the Morphe one. The Morphe one is more foam and more hard. The beauty blender one is like extremely soft. This one is definitely more towards the beauty blender one. Um, I would say it's like maybe in between, but it definitely leans a little bit more towards the beauty blender one. It's very, very soft. For foundation, I'm using Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Porcelain mixed with Revlon Photo Finish Airbrush Effect in the shade 007 Cool Beige. Ever since I have gotten tan this year, I am having the hardest time shade matching myself. The house I bought is right next to the city pool here. Um, so I got a season pass and I've been going literally almost every day with my sister. We go to the pool every day and swim and we've just been getting really tan and I love it. It's just like brings summertime together. I'm also getting a lot of freckles on my nose. It might not look like it matches my face, but when I drag this down into my tanned neck, it blends straight in. I'm actually going to use the long flat side. I'm just using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the shade Fair. Um, I really need to get a darker one or get a different concealer because, ooh honey, this is not it anymore because I'm so tan. Okay, so now I am just going to go in with the Makeup A Murder Fingerprint Translucent Powder. I've used this before and when I first use this, I, I'm so in love with this. I normally use Laura Mercier translucent powder, which is like $40, it's so expensive. And this powder is only $14 and it is amazing. The texture of this translucent powder is like very thin and like soft, it kind of feels like velvety and I love it so much. This is another item that like once I run out, I'm still going to be purchasing on my own. I'm just going to use the brush that it came with and I'm just gonna like, dip into the powder and kind of set everything on my face because it's been in the 90s literally every single day here. So makeup just melts off. Now I'm just going back in with a bloody blender and I'm going to pick up some more of that translucent powder and I'm just going to bake underneath my eyes. While that is baking, I'm gonna go ahead and do my contour. For that, I use the NYX Contour and Highlight Palette. Now I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and brush everything away. Okay, so now I'm just going to do some eyeshadow underneath of my eyes. I'm just gonna take my ColourPop highlighter in the shade Flexitarian and I'm just going to pop this in my inner corners and underneath my brow bone. I'm just going to set my face with some e.l.f. setting spray before I do my highlighter. And for highlighter, I'm going to be using Jeffree Star Cosmetics in the shade Eclipse. That's another thing I love about being tan is your highlighter shows up so much better and pops so much more on the skin. So for eyelashes, as I showed you earlier, I got these eyelashes from Makeup A Murder. Look how gorgeous these are. They're extremely long. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera how like long and huge they are. I'm just going to pop it on and see what it looks like because I've never worn lashes this big. These are absolutely gorgeous and I definitely will wear them at some point, but I don't know if I'm gonna wear them today. Um, again, it's so hot outside. Okay, so here is what the lashes look like on. If I just pop it on, let me pop this other one on real quick just so you guys can kind of see what they would look like. Okay, so here are what the eyelashes would look like on. These are absolutely gorgeous. It's just not what I'm used to at all. They are so, I'm gonna try to turn to the side and show you like a profile. I will definitely wear these. I'm not gonna wear them today because again, it is so hot outside and I'm trying to be a little bit more comfortable, but they're absolutely gorgeous. And I'm definitely gonna wear them when I do like bright colored makeup. Next time I use my neon pigments, I am going to definitely pop these on and wear them. They're really comfortable. I mean, I don't have them glued down, but they are on there right now and they haven't really moved. And 
they feel really, really comfortable. So I'm not gonna be wearing the eyelashes today. I definitely will be wearing them in the future. They're so cute. So I'm gonna put on some mascara and some lipstick real quick off camera and I will be right back. Okay guys, so here is the finished look. I love every single product I use from Makeup A Murder. If you have not seen that other video, again, I will link it right up here for you guys. You guys can go click on that and watch it. They did not pay me for this video. I purchased all of those neon pigments in the first video and reviewed them on my own with my own money and they saw it reach out to me and asked if I would want to try anything else and I said sure. So they did send me these products but they did not ask me to make a video. They didn't ask me to do any of this stuff. I'm doing it all on my own because I actually really, really like this company. I think their packaging is absolutely adorable and also it's a very small company and I love it's like supporting small businesses. So, and their products are bomb. So why not support a small makeup artist, a small individual business while getting good products at an affordable cost because all of this stuff is very affordable. I will leave a link to her website in the description down below if you wanna check out any of these items. She also has so many other cute and amazing items that you guys should check out. I will also leave a link to her Instagram in the description down below. She reposts a lot of other small influencers and makeup artists, which I also think is amazing. Make sure to check out my Instagram in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there and I post more frequently. So if you want to see more of my everyday life and what I'm doing, then make sure to go check out my Instagram. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. And until next time, guys, stay weird. Uh -huh.